Many say that America is kind, good, generous, and decent. Which one of these adjectives can be applied to its history of chattel slavery? Was it kind and good to prevent an entire race of people from learning how to read? How many enslaved victims had promising futures? Genius IQs with the future cure to cancer. Never to manifest due to the dehumanization of an entire race in a country some call the land of the free and home of the brave. To be more accurate, home of the slave. I've lived in two other countries, none greater than the U.S. Just imagine how great it would be if racism never existed. Black Wall Street and Rosewood Holocaust would have never happened and there would be generations of black millionaires hailing from Oklahoma to Florida worldwide. These events were never mentioned in my history books and yet the image of Christopher Columbus is embedded in my brain. I guess America was too decent to share their embarrassing acts of evil. While politicians, big business, and media hold tea parties discussing plans to distract us from those who are responsible for today's lynchings, like using our money to bail out AIG and our babies dying for oil, we need to wake up fast. Author Herbert Harris's latest ebook, From Tea Party to New World Order, How Racial Strife is Being Used to Bring Down America, is available to purchase on www.fromteapartytonewworldorder.com. Mr. Harris is a proud member of the Black Business Builders Club.